Eat this, drink that, go. Remember the wait times of the HCA East Florida Hospital emergency rooms average in the single digits. Just go to HCAEastFlorida.com. List all their wait times for all their emergency rooms there, and they update them every 30 minutes because emergencies do not wait for appointments. That's HCAEastFlorida.com. They'll come in handy for you and your family one day. You know, there's been an explosion of, uh, of wonderful brewing companies here in South Florida. Yeah. Terrific beers that are being produced by local individuals, both here in South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and throughout the entire region. And they are worth searching out. One of the hotbeds, it seems, is Doral. And yeah. we're pleased to be joined by Ignacio Montenegro uh, and uh, Iker Loriaga, the co-founders <laughs> of Tripping <laughs> Animals. Welcome, guys. It's Tripping, a pleasure. No, Tripping thank you so much. Animals Brewing yeah. Company. That's All right, where does the name come from, guys? It's first question, right? Everybody asks. Well, honestly, it. there is not such a big story behind, but we have always wanted to do something with animals as a branding side. And then Tripping is coming from the farm side. <laughs> Which it means for us, we, we are born and raised in, in Venezuela. Right. And tripping in our country it means having fun. It got nothing to be related with. Uh, a trip, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> different trip. Yeah. So we think that, that it was fun, you know, to do like every time we're drinking craft beer, we're actually having a blast. So. Right. Who's the brewer? Tripping. Who's the brewer of the group? The brewer is uh, our other partner, Daniel, which unfortunately he couldn't be here today with us. He He's in the brewery right now. On the kettle, so right. Yeah. How long has uh, Tripping Animals Brewing been in, been around? Well, we opened last year in November 16, so we're about to be a year. Pro uh, yeah. Congratulations! Soon, thank you yeah. so much. It's always the, the key number. Get to a year. The great yes. thing about yeah. this is you can go there and try Tripping Animals uh, Brewing uh, beers. Right. Uh, they're out. I'll give you the address. They're at 2685 Northwest 105th Avenue in Doral. I'll give it to you again uh, as we go through the program. Trippinganimals.com is where you can find them. Easy name to remember. And they're open basically at 4 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, all the way in you know, different various hours, at least till uh, 10 p.m. and then midnight a couple of nights. Fridays until 2 a.m. Saturdays and Sundays, they start at noon. On uh, Saturdays till 2 a.m. on Sundays until 10 p.m. Um, tell me about your concept and what's different about your, your brewery, your, your beer, yeah. than it would be others. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, thanks again for reminding us here for us uh, it's great to have this exposure and uh, more people getting to know us um, our biggest uh, concept or what we think that different us it's first that we put a lot of love in everything that we do that goes from the labels to the product uh, we're very focused on on the details and, and on the quality of the product um, and then we're we consider our home and where we want to invite everybody is in our tap room, our mm -hmm. tasting room. That it's a, it's a, we have a 15,000 square foot facility with a 3,000 square foot tap room. And it's a place where people can go and feel like they're home while at the same time drinking a beer that you're not going to get any fresher than that. Right. So it's a complete experience every time people go into the tap room. Uh, it's something that they're not expecting. Um, as you said, there's a lot of breweries opening. Right. And yeah, but, but yeah, can I tell you, this label took a lot of time. Look at this label right now. I, I showed it to yeah. the camera. Yeah, taking, yeah, yeah. uh, taking Flight 20? It's Taking Flight 2.0. This, this is the second, the second version of a collab that we did with a brewery that is actually coming up to uh, Westchester. Hopefully they're gonna open by the end of the month. They call Unseen Creatures Brewing and Blending. It's our good friend Marcos, so we did a beer together with him. Um, that's what we came up with. Now with this owl on the on the uh, the label, as you move it back and forth, his eyes kind of <laughs> light up and move. <laughs> <laughs> this is not easy to do. This is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, and is there some particular style of this beer, or is it an IPA? Or that's an IPA. It that is. is. Probably can call it like a session IPA because it's a it's a lion ABB, so it's super easy drinking and very refreshing. This is your kind of beer. Right this now. is my kind of beer. Uh, I know. <laughs> I like uh, light beers. Now, did, beers. did you both grow up in Venezuela as beer drinkers? Yeah. Is we that where up. I mean, were you all sitting around and said, "Let's do this"? Yeah. It, well, it kind of happened not in Venezuela. It happens. Well, it first happened with me. Um, my other partner, Danielle, while we 
after we finished high school, we moved to to England to to study abroad to learn English. Mm. And in Venezuela, we we have a huge uh, lack of of craft beer, especially back in the days. Now there is more and more breweries opening up, but we didn't know much about craft beer until we get to travel. When we went to England, we drank our first craft beer, and we were like, "What the heck is this?" Yeah, <laughs> 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 this yeah. I really like this. And this since then, I mean, this we is just fell wonderful. In love. Again, this yeah. is talking, uh, taking flight 2.0, and it's by. Trudy I get a lot Animal of pineapple. That's the fruity of the hops that we choose to to brew this beer. So oh, it's, it's very citrusy. It's you get the pineapple. Now, if I go over to uh, Tripping Animals Brewing Company at 2685 Northwest 105th Avenue in Doral, can I eat some food? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so currently we have, uh, like Nasro was, was telling before, we have a catering company. Uh, from the beginning, we always partner uh, on the food side, you know, we wanted to specialize on the on the liquid and on the experience in the tap room. So we joined venture with a company that it's called uh, Poke Kai that they've been serving us uh, some great fruit food for almost a year now. And now we're gonna do a, a twist, right? We're gonna try to uh, make things a little bit more more fun and a little bit different, more uh, to a food that is related to the beer culture. And it's gonna go now. We're gonna go uh, on a new venture with Gorilla Meats and Gorilla City Meats and Sandwich, who is a great friend of ours, uh, who is a chef that he curates and uh, treats the meat. So we're gonna have a nice selection of sandwiches. That it's something that uh, we always that saw. That sounds great. I'm actually yes, very excited. It does. We're yes, gonna be roasting. Yes, we yeah. are gonna be roasting our own meat. Oh, so yeah. our own pastrami, it our own wonderful. roast beef. Yeah. Reminder, they're it only will go very well with these beers. Yeah, this is a wonderful Absolutely. beer. They're only closed on Monday. They're open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sorry. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, during the week at 4 p.m. all the way to 2 a.m. on Friday nights. And then on Saturday and Sunday, noon is when they open to 2 a.m. on Saturday on Sunday morning. And Sunday uh, at 10 p.m. is when they close. That's and absolutely marvelous. And how many different beers do you do? Oh, we have done at least, we're around like 40 different beers since wow. the day we opened. Yeah. We actually, we, we keep our three core beers, which is Bandido, it's a pale ale. Okay. And the animal is a raccoon. <laughs> 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 and then we have a, a Koopa Troopa, which is a dry hop pilsner. The animal is a toro. And then we have No Mames which is our Mexican lager, which is, uh, uh, yeah, the Mexican lager. Uh, I'm I'm and and what, animal, what animal is that? That's a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find this one. The animal is a skeleton, I think, on this one. What's this one? Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a collaboration that we did with our in-house artist, Alexis Sirid, and he does comics books. So he, he did that one for his comic books. He's actually, we think he's a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's like, a baboon. It's like drinking it's a baboon, enough of the beer yeah. to make it any you animal. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. So you drink so many. Yeah. I'll tell you, this, uh, the first one was absolutely wonderful. We've got to try this one, Brad. Okay, we've got to try this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the labeling is terrific, by the way. And Thank it's something so that I think people will want to collect because these are really wonderful labels. Now, other than yeah, your definitely. place, where else can you find your, your beers? All right, so we just started just dis distributing our beer outside our uh, our brewery mm -hmm. around three weeks ago. Oh, As congratulations! Thank you so much. As we were talking before, we're actually brewing the beer for uh, Captain Kush, that it's in the Kush Hospitality uh, restaurants, and then we also have uh, taps in craft beer spots like Union, Box Elder, and then Fat Tap. Uh, tap 42. Then we also have uh, a new place of barbecue that they used to open called Hometown. Hometown mm -hmm. Barbecue. Yes, that that I got just, uh, this this yeah. is wonderful too, by the yeah, way. Thank you so thank much. You okay, so tell, much. Me, tell me about this. Is this an IPA as well? That's a double yeah. IPA. So the ABV is on it. The, the alcohol is going to be a little higher. Bit higher, yeah. Like yeah. how high? I believe that one is 8%. 8%? 8.8, wow. if I don't mistake. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and the one that you tried before this is 5.8. 5.8. Yeah. They're both excellent, they're, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, they're nice, they're light. I'm not a beer drinker. <laughs> and But I will drink this, well, you know? I'll tell you Thank what, you they're, so they're, they're both very tasty. And it's called Tripping Animals Brewing Company. And they are located at uh, 2685 Northwest 105th Avenue in Doral. 
uh, you can find them at trippinganimals.com, trippinganimals.com. Yeah. If you go to some of these places like Tap 42, ask for it by name. It's easy to remember, trippinganimals.com. You won't be disappointed. Both these beers that we tried were absolutely wonderful. They're terrific. You can follow them on Facebook, Tripping Animals Brewing, on Twitter, Tripping Animals, Instagram, Tripping Animals Brewing as well. Um, new beers coming out. What are you working on? Something fun? Yeah, something very fun. <laughs> we believe, uh, yeah. In the next two weeks, probably we are going to be releasing three, three new beers coming up. One is a Zaison with lemongrass that we're doing. A Zaison mm. is a very, mm. is a European style of beer. And then we're doing a triple IPA, which is kind of similar to what you're drinking right now, but ABV is a little, a little bit higher. higher. Yes, a little bit higher. <laughs> we go to ten percent now. Oh, good. And yeah. then we're gonna be doing our Berliner Weiss style, which is a sour beer, but conditioned with fruits. And that one is gonna be releasing our Halloween party, the October twenty-six. October 26th, October 26th, a Halloween, a, a party. Halloween party. You also yeah. What time does it start? It start at around 7. The, the beer release is at 12 at noon, but the party starts at 7. You also have okay. an anniversary party coming up. Tell we us about the anniversary We have an anniversary party. party that's coming up on November 23rd. We're going to be releasing more more of our beers too, Wonderful. some new Just beers. Just in time for Thanksgiving. It's great with turkey. Exactly. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But you, 40 beers in one year? In one year, yeah. It's a lot of beer to produce. I mean, we used to, we like to innovate and always keep bringing to the clients right. different options and what, and what we think like. That's why the other partner couldn't be here. He's probably doing another. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. had to work. You're going to run out of animals pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're actually building a, a, a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also have an event space out there so people can rent a space out yes. there Absolutely. and cater it with your folks and yep. then drink your beer. Great. Yeah, we have already, already people like getting marriage in our place. We have like birthday celebrations, company celebration, Christmas party, all kind of party. It sounds like a lot of fun. Again, that sounds it's trippinganimalsbrewing.com, 2685 Northwest, 105th Avenue, the Rinderau. Uh, and the beers are terrific. I'm not much of a beer drinker either, but I drink both of these. They're terrific. Um, <laughs> and you know what I like about the, the lemongrass element? It would probably go really well with Asian food, I would imagine. Absolutely. You know, yeah. you've got so many Asian restaurants in South Florida, you need, to, you need to step up and get these Asian restaurants on the board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I love Asian food. Oh, absolutely. I love Asian And food. I think that, that all of these would be wonderful. What's next? Is something next? You're thinking about something. Yeah, sure. Always, always we have to keep thinking about something new, you know, to keep people coming to our tab room and every time having the same feeling that when they leave they want to come back. Uh, that's something that we're very proud of because everything has been uh, word to mouth basically, you know, so it's like people go there, uh, they feel good, they try the beer, they like it, they try the food, they like they it. They tell their friends. Yeah, they tell yeah. their friends and that's how everything has been uh, growing for us in a very like organic way. For example, uh, on Saturday we also have an event with the people of the Royal Yard that are new, soon to be neighbors. Uh, it's going to be um, a food and beer pairing event, uh, so that's something that we also like to focus a lot, like we have done beer dinners, we consider uh, that we are all for the complete experience, you know, right. so like for us the main thing is the beer, because it's our product, it's what we love, and we do it uh, with the best quality that we can, but then we understand that we also have because we love it, you know, we love the music, so we have, we try to do live music, we try to do different events, uh, we have also been able to help out the community in different ways, local community, and also we have done a couple of events with and Venezuela. And vice versa, also the community have been come out for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. also, especially, well, especially the craft us, beer community from the very beginning, they yes. have been always helping us, the other breweries, yeah, MIA, right. Wingwood Brewing, and, and all of them. You gotta, st you gotta stay Wayfield. together. Yes. yes. And, and, and they job. have been very supportive to us, and that's something that we want to give back to the community, especially of Doral, and then from there, Miami in general. Right. I mean, that's a wonderful story. Right, it is. You can follow them at trippinganimals.com. So if you want to know about events, if you want an event space to have a party of some sort, you want to go to their Halloween party or their anniversary party. Uh, just learn more about the new beers that are coming up. They've got a new food concept coming up as well. Again, it's trippinganimals.com. Uh, and the beer, I can attest, 
is absolutely terrific. Their labels are great as well. Uh, our thanks to Ignacio Montenegro and to Iker Elorriaga. Uh, hey, he did I'm better the first time. Give me one more here and I'd have it down pat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you. Good luck to both of you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thanks for thank having us. So I'm much looking much forward to having you guys at so the table. Come out and do it. Cheers. We'll be back with more a little bit later on. We're going to try some wonderful. Cabernet from 2480, one of the best cabs you're ever going to find. Mm, I'm a stink. That's a little bit <laughs> 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 Eat this, drink that. Go! Crap.